I find myself in the hydrogen home kitchen where all of the gas appliances have been replaced with hydrogen ones. So today I thought I'd make a cheats recipe because we're cooking with a nice fast and efficient form of heat. We're gonna make a cheats bolognese risotto. So we're going to start with our cheats bolognese with getting the sauce on. So my way of cheating is obviously to use Italian pork and fennel sausages. We're not going to add celery or carrots, we're keeping the base simple with onion and garlic because everyone's got that in their pantry. And there's so much flavour in these sausages, there's a bit of pepper, there's some chilli, there's some fennel seeds and the flavour that comes out of this is almost going to mimic a bolognese that would usually take you around four hours to cook on the stove. We're gonna make this dinner in under 30 minutes. So we'll start by frying up the onion and the garlic. Add in our sausages. Tomatoes, cook that down. And once that risotto is ready to go, dinner is almost served. So our risotto is cooked and I've just drained this off and dressed it in a little bit of olive oil. And that will go straight into our cheats bolognese. So a good amount of this. Now you could cheat one step further, cook the risotto straight in the sauce once it's done. I'd add a good amount of stock just so you've got that absorption method of the risotto being able to cook with this sauce. Now this is such a guilty pleasure, a big bowl of bolognese. The thing with the risotto is that you can sit there on the couch and eat it with a spoon. You don't need a knife, you don't need a fork. It's just comfort meal 101. So give that a really good stir. Make sure it's fully incorporated with our sauce. Beautiful. All right, the risotto is ready to go. You could put this whole pot on the table if need be. But as I said before, this is absolutely a couch meal. We've got a good amount of that and I just love an extra crack of black pepper on top. And for me, that is really simple and quick. Oh my God, I'm stuck in the pot. For me, that is really simple and quick comfort food made in the comfort of the hydrogen home kitchen.